is everybody ready? Everyone ready? Everyone's click that this is the series finale. The last time we will ever be on NASCAR Thunder 2004 is today, and we don't have a sponsor. Yeah, um, <clears throat> they left us for the final race of the season. So I asked you guys what we are going to do, and it was pretty popular. We are going to go unsponsored. So that is what we're going to do. However, I put my little own twist to this. Do you recognize that paint scheme by any chance? Do you, does anyone recognize it? I wanted to go with something simple. I wanted to go with something like a throwback, something to remember us by. You know, we, we ran, I think, the fast paint scheme season one or something. But that paint scheme, let me explain the backstory to this paint scheme, okay? What we are doing, does anybody remember, and maybe you've already clicked on it, does anybody remember Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s Coca-Cola paint scheme? Well, this is that. That, this is exactly what the Coca-Cola paint scheme was. It was just red with Coca-Cola logos on it, white little highlight, and a black underneath. That is Dale Earnhardt's Coca-Cola paint scheme. We are going to beat Dale Earnhardt Jr. with his father's paint scheme. I'm evil, aren't I? Yes, I am. And I love it. I want to beat them with his own father's paint scheme. Let's go. And we have the eight and we have the three. We are just better. We are senior and junior combined to take down Dale Earnhardt Jr. It's all, it's written in the stars. It is going to happen. I am not worried. I'm not going to choke this. It's going to happen. Just watch. So that is the pain scheme we are going to take to Homestead Miami Speedway to win the championship for the first time. Let's get it done. So let's quickly check on what we have to do. We have a 26 point lead, essentially. What this means is that if we finish in third, maybe I think even fourth, because if you if you lead the most laps and you don't let anyone else lead a lap, second place gets 170 points. You get 185. So essentially, as long as we finish fourth, which would be 25 points behind uh, first place, if Dale Earnhardt Jr. led the most laps and all that and won the race. Uh, we would win the championship. So fourth place is where we have to finish. Ideally, just, you know, get third or second or for even just win it. And that will be it. The problem is we are going to Homestead Miami Speedway. And Homestead Miami Speedway, we've not raced at all season. And if my memory serves me right, this is the track where we struggle at a lot. So we have to take a very, very good car, which is what we have done. We have purposely saved... Chassis number 14, tire grip 86, tire wear 81. We've purposely saved engine number 13, power 84, efficiency 78. And body number 13, a brand new body, downforce of 87 with drafting of 75. That will be our car. It's going to be the best car we've ever had. So that's going to be our car that we use for Homestead Miami to hopefully take down Dale Earnhardt Jr. That is going to be the case. Now, just real quick, I do want to check on something. It is mathematically possible. I know this is, you know, uh, probably we haven't talked about it. It is mathematically possible Tony Stewart wins the championship. It is. Junior would have to finish outside the top 20. I would have to finish outside the top 20. That's the only way Tony Stewart can win the championship. Is that going to happen? I, I, I'm willing to bet a lot of money that is not going to happen, guys. So don't don't think about it. But, you know, credit to Tony Stewart. He's in. He, he has a mathematical chance, even though this has been a two-horse race for, like, the entire season. Um, so let's get into it. I want to give a shout-out to all the Patreon members, as always, who have supported the series, supported the channel, supported these videos. If you've enjoyed the NASCAR Thunder 2004 series, I'm sorry that's going away. I'm sorry for myself as well. I have plans for, like, more classic games. We're not going to move away from the classic games there there is a game i've not really done a series on i started it but i didn't really go into it um however i do want to actually do a series on it so it is another classic nascar game that will be coming in the future but uh that, that will be like the replacement for nascar thunder 2004 but uh hopefully everyone has enjoyed this series a lot now let's not waste any more time let's get right into it homestead miami speedway no i don't want to sign sponsors get we are we are winning this championship without sponsors chassis we're going chassis number 14 we already know what we're doing engine number 13 and body number 13 now <laughs> car rating of 85 guys 85 good lord will i qualify <laughs> will i qualify let me run practice laps first and i'll make that decision i feel like it would only be right if i didn't qualify because we haven't qualified all season but this is the championship race we're talking about here we'll see welcome to the homestead miami speedway for today's nascar winston cup race the ford 400. i'm here with barney hall nascar ran its first race here in 1999 
What do you think of this track? Well, with the new additions this year, I expect a different race than we're used to. Usually speeds are relatively tame due to the flatness of the racetrack, but with the new banking added this year, you could expect speeds to be much, much quicker. McMurray moved up to Winston Cup after having an impressive year in the Bush Series in 2002. He picked up a couple of wins and finished six in the points last year, plus he did an admirable job filling in for Sterling Marlin in some cup runs. The 83 car hasn't run well in his qualifying attempts at the speedways this year. Man, that's true. Maybe he likes having to pass all those cars on race day. I know I would prefer to start towards the front, and I'm sure he would too. But hey, he'll get there with some patience. There he is, Dale and her junior and on pole position, and we are in the back. <laughs> yeah, now I have worked very hard on the setup. I have worked very hard on the setup, guys. I, I I spent a lot of time practicing. I feel confident. I don't think this is going to be a cakewalk by any means. But remember, we don't have to win. Just remember that we actually don't have to beat Dale and her junior today. We don't need to. We just have to finish at least in fourth position and even if we lead a lap that would actually help too so that's all we have to do jack sprague trying to block me for one final time that is fine oh boy i'm just again this is our first race here so i got to get used to uh you know first race of the season here so i just got to get used to how they race around here again i'm really confident in this car though i, I don't think this is going to be a problem if it was the flat version of homestead then i think it'd be a problem but right now i got this car rotating really well i made sure to make some adjustments fender flare that's that's the main adjustment right there because it gets the car rotating quickly uh in order to make myself hold the bottom lane please just you little frauds want to block me for a championship it's fine you guys keep doing you but this is working out perfectly yeah 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 oh boy we're fine no damage on the right front no damage on the right front right right, right front we're fine we're, we're already in lap uh already in p29 after two completed laps and the field is together as long as the field is together, I'm okay with it. I'm really happy with how the car is handling. If I left the setup default, I don't think it would be this good. But with that, with how the car is handling, uh, the only thing I'm worried about is uh, later on in the in the run. It might get a little bit too loose, but I'll handle that when the time comes. And we catch short pit if we need to anyways. So let's keep going. We're already in the top 20, guys. Already in the top 20. Just run the bottom and we're good. Easy. I can take my time from now on. I mean, we're, it's only lap 4 of 66. Junior's not pulling away. I think we have the fastest car in the field. I, we, we have specifically saved this car for this race, and it is showing 202 miles per hour in the turn 3. Look at the rotation. The car just rotates at a certain point. Just I could feel the rear end just skew out a little bit, and it feels just awesome. Uh, it's a 99 car low, but I don't see him. So we're going to go underneath Jimmy Johnson. Again, wait on it. Ooh, boy, I'm sliding up just a little bit, but it's fine. Just fine, just fine. Thank you, Jimmy, for giving me a little bit of room. I appreciate that. All right, around wall trip. We're about to crack the top 15. Don't block. Come on, guys. I actually have room, and I have the ability to turn into the corner, even down here if I need to. So you guys cannot block me, okay? Don't even think about it. I'm going to go to the high side just to see if I can maybe make up some time up here as the bottom lane's kind of busy. Nope, not going to work. All right, we'll just go right back to the bottom in three and four. Get the run, get the draft, move down, clear Dale Jarrett, and I'm going to wait. I'm not going to go underneath Harvick. We're going to wait, 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 wait. There we go. Just get some guys on the outside lane. Sliding up just a little bit, but we're fine. All right, six laps in. We're about to crack the top, top ten. This has been a perfect start. I mean, we have the fastest car in the field. I think it's clear. It's very clear. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. is not leading. He has been passed. He qualified on pole. He led a lap, but now he has gotten passed by, I think that's Kurt Busch up there, and Tony Stewart is now passing him. So, Junior is struggling, and that is good news for us. I'm literally on the apron. I'm by the grass. <laughs> Let's go. All right, car's getting a little bit loose on entry now. That's what I was worried about. Is It's going to be the long run of the car getting loose. I, the good thing is I made a slight wedge adjustment, so it's not just the fender flare where you can't adjust that on pit road. I did make a wedge adjustment, so in case it was too loose, as you can see, I'm starting to fight it on entry a little bit. If it was too loose, I could go up on the wedge, tighten it back up. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is struggling. 
Dale Earnhardt Jr. is struggling. He just got passed by Ricky Craven. What is going on with Jr.? We have passed Dale Earnhardt Jr. It doesn't matter what we do now. I mean, we're in front of Dale Earnhardt Jr. I, yeah, I'm, this is a monumental choke job I am seeing from Dale Earnhardt Jr. these last four races. I mean, he qualified on pole this race, but he's running in, like, sixth? What is going on? He qualified on pole, and he's just falling backwards. All right. I mean... He can kiss his championship hopes goodbye because right now we are going to drive away with it as long as I just get some clean track, which I'm trying to get here. Tony Stewart's going up the track. I'm going to split it three wide. Sterling Marlin's below us. We just split three wide through the middle, and now we are in second place. I feel like Kyle Larson on an illegal car. Lord have mercy. Ten laps in, and we are in second place already. This is mad. Now, if I want to prevent the car from getting loose, I can just run this top lane. I will be slower, but it, it doesn't get loose up here. So right now it's all about safety. I mean, I don't have to do anything. We have the championship locked up at the moment. This is just, wow, we just got to chill. Junior is falling back still. He's been passed by Bobby Labonte. He's getting passed by Kevin Harvick. Oh my Lord. He is, he's just seen, he's seen, he's seen my car. He has seen the Coca-Cola Dale Earnhardt paint scheme and he's gotten shivers. He, he has absolutely choked under his own breath. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. He, look at him. He's just falling backwards. All right. Don't mind me. Let's go win the race and win the championship. Kurt Busch is actually pretty quick. I mean, I'm, I'm slowly catching him. The draft does now help. But I just don't. I'm just making sure we don't get loose. Oh, he slid up the track. He gave us the opportunity. He gave us the opportunity. Hello, Kurt. You can see that you see the rear end just slightly just yawed out. That's because I have that fender flare in the car. It's rotating the car really nicely, but it's not getting too loose. So that's that's why we're so quick. And you can see right there, a little bit sideways. You can hear the tires squealing a little bit. We're right behind Kurt. He's going to be blocking. We're going to go to the outside lane. And there's the horsepower, 84 horsepower. Just carrying us right through. I don't mind Kurt Busch battling you on the high side. Just look at that. Boom. There you go. Right rear yawed out a little bit. We're going to slide up the track. And we will get the pass made on the outside lane. We lead at Homestead, my home track, 17 laps into the race. And now I could, I could even run the wall if I want to. I mean, the car feels great up here. I just wish it was faster. It's, it's not fast up here. As you can see, we've been passed again by Kurt Busch. Hey, if you want to run by, side by side like this, I don't mind, man. I, I'll just I'll just run up here on my own. I, I don't care. Oh, God. <laughs> I got a little bit too confident. I, I, I did what you do at Homestead, Miami Speedway. I, you know, just kissed the wall a little bit. All right, that's fine, though. That gave us right side damage and right front damage. Not sure how that gave me right front damage, but okay. I'm not really, I mean, to be fair, I kind of needed the car to be a little bit tighter anyways, so I'm not actually worried about that. That's fine. Just want to do a quick check. I see a red car. Yes. All right. So Dale Earnhardt Jr. has recovered up to fourth position. Let's get this lead from Kurt Busch. Ooh, sliding my way in. Just got to get that bottom lane. No more fooling around. Let's see if I can get him. All right, we have position, so now we just got to stay right here. Hello, Kurt. And pass made. Just don't get loose. Use down here. There we go. All right, pass made. Slide up. Get it up off the corner. All right, we are good. Now, let's try to lead some laps. Maybe we could get most laps led, uh, and that will give us even a, more of a buffer. Actually, I don't know. If we lead the most laps, I don't know where we have to finish after that in case Junior would win the race. So, I mean, I would assume it's probably like maybe sixth or something like that is where we'd have to finish but we are doing extremely well let's just win this thing a red car will win this championship it's just not the red car that dale jr thought it would be <laughs> thank you aarons for leaving us oh i appreciate that we are very low on fuel lap 25 2.4 gallons remaining i'm going to stay out long we're going to take this all the way because the last thing i want is get caught a lap down so I do not want that. Um, just looking at the entry of pit row, doesn't look anything crazy. So we'll know when to come down. No one's pitted yet. I mean, I think the AI have better fuel efficiency than I do, so it's fine. But I continue to stay out. Car is fine. It's not too loose. It's a little bit loose, but nothing uh, that I can't manage. So I think we're going to leave the car as is as well. Uh, we won't make any adjustments. Just keep it as is. It's fast. It's it's good. I mean, I'm on my own, so I could if I need to you know not take risk i'll just run the high line that's not really anything crazy tires very worn just check the fuel 1.3 and still no one's coming down pit road they're able to take it pretty far which is a little bit surprising 
point eight, point seven. All right, I will pit this time by books, books loose. We're still gonna be the first car coming down pit road. Books, books loose, books, 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 and let's just take it nice and easy. Absolutely no risks whatsoever. Seventy miles per hour. Beautiful scenes. All righty, four tire. How are you guys still staying out? I don't understand this. All right, four tires and fuel pit crew. It's actually not a lot of pressure on you, to be fair. We're building the gap on the track, so just don't give me, like, a 19-second stop. That's all I ask, okay? New fire suits for a champion pit crew. All right, boys, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Vamos, vamos. All right, it's slow. It's slow. It's 8.7 on the right. It's going to be, like, a 17-second stop. Just no mistakes. Just if it's slow, I don't care. All right, there you go. 17 seconds. You absolute trash boxes. But it's fine. We move on. Uh, pit stops have started the lap after we came down. So now we just got to make sure that caution does not come out because we will be lapped down. We're going to use the access road. Just doing it. Just doing it. Just doing it. Uh, getting a little bit tight. All right. Slide it right up. Merge onto the track. Hello, everyone. All right. You guys go down pit road now. And they're taking... Yeah, I think some of them take the access road and some of them don't. I actually don't know how it works. I saw Ricky Craven go down. So you see... That's Newman all the way down there. Okay, so yeah, they do take the access road. So I think I make up a little bit of time anyways coming down pit road just by that. Uh, please, no cautions, I beg. Oh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. just came out of pit road. So he pitted one lap after we did. He is in the mirror right there coming out of the access road. About the same gap that we had on him before. So yeah, I do think I gained time by just not taking that access road on entry, which I don't, you know, you don't have to. So I don't need to. All right, we will get the lead back. Uh, I think Tony Stewart is still leading. Yes, Tony Stewart decided to stay out. I mean, he he's trying to win the championship. It's not going to happen, but I, I give him credit for trying. To be fair, that's actually his only shot, is to trap me a lap down. That's that's Tony Stewart's only shot at winning this championship. Trap me a lap down, put me like in 20-something place, and then win the championship that way. There he goes down pit road. So they went to lap 30. They can't make it on one stop, though. Obviously, you got to go to lap 66, so thank God. Uh, we're back on the lead lap. Crisis number one averted. That's really the only thing that can stop us from winning this title at the moment. I, I, I will not make a stupid mistake, guys. Don't worry. I'm not going to make something stupid. I'm just concentrating, running some, running some time trial laps. That's all I'm doing, guys. That's all I'm doing. I'm running the middle lane, you know, just avoiding the bottom lane so I don't get loose. You know, just I'm, I'm, mitig I'm minimizing all risk right now. I'm just, just casually just running around the track. We have plenty of speed. Just rolling around. Let's say we're going to get the lead right here. Four, three, two, one. Boom. Got the lead back. And now we just keep building that gap. I did not realize when they uh, redid this track, did they not add lights initially? Because I noticed this track on this game doesn't have lights. When did they add the lights? Maybe in the first year or two they didn't have lights. I don't remember. I thought 2005 ended at night though, didn't it? Maybe that ended during the day. I have no idea. I, I truly have no idea. 2003 was the first race with the new configuration, right? It wasn't 2002, it was 2003, I think. Yeah. And then 2004 did not end it during the day. I think 2005 ended during the day, too. 2006 was definitely a night. Yeah, maybe they added lights like the year after. I don't know. Fun fact. Oh, the ultimate short pit, pit stops are starting. So you can see some of the back markers doing that strategy where they just decide, oh, we can make it to the end from here. Let's pit, even though we've only run eight laps on our tires. But we're stupid. Uh, so that's that strategy that they're doing. That's completely fine by me. We keep carrying on. We're not even halfway on fuel yet. Nothing going. This, this is exactly how I wanted the championship race to go. Stress. For, there's been enough stress during the season, guys. Okay. There's been enough stress. I didn't think I'd get to this point <laughs> to, to to be able to to win the championship. I really didn't think so. I thought it was over after Talladega. I'm pretty sure I said it was over after Talladega. So, yeah, we've had to win a lot of races <laughs> and not qualify in a lot of them too in order to win this championship. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Still about 27 laps to go. Just focusing on getting the job done. I'm not going to get complacent. Just get the job done. All right, lap 48, race update. We are 6.7 seconds ahead of Bobby Labonte, 7 seconds ahead of third place, Dale Earnhardt Jr. So 7 seconds ahead of Dale Jr. I think we are basically good to go. I mean, this, this beautiful paint scheme, this beautiful red and black, sponsorless paint scheme is going to win the championship as long as nothing crazy happens on this final round of pit stops we'll do the same exact thing we did on the first round just go all the way until we you know until we're about to run out of fuel come down pit road don't speed pit crew can have a 25 second stop if they like i really don't care i mean just get me in and out and i will be fine i really never imagined this it could be this stress-free i've been so stressed about this homestead race 
but what a difference a whole season makes. A season of upgrades, a season of saving your best stuff, building new chassis, down uh, bodies and, and engines for this specific race, like working for this specific race, and it has paid off. Uh, the, the first time we ever had an 85 rated car, and we are absolutely dominating. From the back to the front in essentially 10 laps. We went from the back to the front in 10 laps. That is wild. Thank you, banked version of Homestead. If this was, like I said, if this was a flat version of Homestead, we would have never done it that quickly. Way too difficult to pass with that, that version of Homestead. That's why they changed it so quickly. Alrighty. 15 laps to go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has gotten into second place. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has gotten into second place, but he is seven and a half seconds behind. It's not going to be enough. <laughs> Look at you, Jr. Look at Dale Earnhardt Jr. in second place. Well, guess what? The eight and the three is better than the eight. <laughs> Alright. Point eight on fuel. Time to pit this time by books, books, loose for the final time in NASCAR Thunder 2004. Time to come down pit lane. Just gonna casually and nicely make my way down pit lane. There we go. Ah, the job is almost done, guys. The job is almost done. The final pit stop. Can they make a mistake free pit stop on the final stop? In my opinion, they're making a mistake. This pit crew this season has been so dog crap throughout the whole season. I just believe they're making a mistake. I, I, I can't believe that they're going to be, you know, give me a, what, a 15.5 or something. It's not going to happen. They're, they're making a mistake. It's going to happen. 7.9 on the right. It's fast, but they're going to make a mistake. They're going to make a mistake. I'm telling you. Okay, never mind. They gave me a 15.5. What do I know? What do I know? I doubt them. They actually give me a 15.5. I know nothing. I uh, I apologize, pit crew. I give you, I give you my apologies. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna stay on the lead lap. <laughs> Just make sure I don't go on the grass. The leaders are back there. You can see we are on the lead lap. So even if a caution came out right now, I would still be okay. There's Tony Stewart, who's gotten around Dylan our Jr. Actually, Tony Stewart's now in second place. Junior's about to come down pit road. I could see him, uh, lean down. But we are on the lead lap. So caution still also would not really hurt us except it would put us in 28th position so i guess that would kind of suck but yeah we're fine all right let's win this race let's win the championship juniors come down pit lane everyone should be coming down pit lane here in, a, in uh, basically this lap and the next lap so let's get this thing done it's the final nerve-wracking moments we're still in 18th position i just want the the green flag stops just to go on because tony stewart is still leading all right 17th 16th 15 keep going Keep going. Just get me a little bit further up. Just a little bit further up, and I would be comfortable. Still a lot of cars that haven't pitted. We're on lap 59. They could take a splash of fuel, maybe. I mean, we're in 8th, 7th. I mean, we're good. Dale and our junior's already pitted. He's he's pitted for four tires, so... I just wonder what Tony Stewart's going to do. He's 7. And he's on lap 61. He should honestly just take a splash of fuel. That's what he should do. But I, I don't know if he's going to do it. 4th. Uh, we're about to get third here, I think. You hold on. Yep, nope, still fourth. All right, Tony Stewart has come down pit road this time. by. So, oh, blown engine. Please let it be Junior. Please let it be Junior. No, nah, it's Bobby Labonte. Damn it, Bobby. Why you got blown engine? All right. Um, now someone else is the leader. Who the heck is the leader now? <laughs> what the? Tony Stewart came down pit road. Okay, well, are we going to pass Tony Stewart? That's my question. We're in third. Uh, who's that coming? We, we have passed Tony Stewart. Mark Martin is leading the race. We're in second position. Is Mark Martin going to pit? Yes, he is. Okay, they were just able to... They were able to go to lap 63. Man, that's wild. I mean, they could almost make it to the... Oh, I almost got screwed there if they were able to make it to the end. That would have been bad. But we are fine. All right, give me my lead back. Mark Martin's in pit road. We get the lead now. Dale and her junior is 12 seconds behind us. He's going to finish in second, but he is 12 seconds behind us. <laughs> we are three and a half laps away. Three and a half laps away from winning the championship. Oh, boy. What a race. What a season. We have passed so many cars this season on this game. This is going to be our last pass. Elliot Sadler. He's blocking. Of course he's blocking. I'm not going to make it clean. Why, why do you think I'm going to make the final pass on this game clean? We're coming to the white flag lap. The final time the PA announcer is going to be screaming on his old thing. One last scrape of the wall. You're still blocking me even all the way up here? Jeez. I wasn't going to go on the bottom. Oh, man. I, I got to make this pass. No, I got to make this pass. 
Alright, you're gonna block me, that's fine. No, he's not. Alright, there we go. There we go. Final pass. I've, I don't even want to know how many cars I've passed this season coming from the back to the front as many times as we have. Oh my goodness. Off turn four. That is it. We've won the championship! Oh my god. I didn't think we'd actually do it. <laughs> oh, I'm celebrating, I'm celebrating, I'm celebrating, I'm celebrating. Oh, I haven't celebrated all season. Let's go! Oh, blow the engine. I'm blowing the engine, guys. I'm gonna blow the engine. Hold on one second. Let me get right here. Let's go, vamos! Champions! Champions! Vamos! Championes, championes, ale, ale, ale. Championes, championes, ale, ale, ale. My engine's already smoking. All right, hold on. I mean, I'm blowing this thing up. I don't, I don't care how long it takes. Championes, championes, ale, ale, ale. Hey, hey, championes, championes, ale, ale, ale. Hey, hey, championes, championes, ale, ale, ale. Hey, hey, oh, yep, there it goes. It's on fire. <laughs> We yep, finally, <laughs> that was it. That's all I had. <laughs> we can celebrate, guys. I'm not skipping it. We can celebrate. It's a little bit loud. Let's turn that down just a little bit. But we can celebrate. If he doesn't stand on top of the car, I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. You better stand on top of the car. Oh, you don't. No, oh, no. We win the championship and he literally stands outside the car, not on top of the car. I'm lo Oh, oh, God. Oh no, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. No, 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 there's no way. There's no way. Oh, you have to stand on top of the car, dude. Oh god, where's the trophy? Lift the trophy, man! Lift it! Oh, we can't just have it sitting there. It's a beautiful trophy! Lift it. I want to see the picture of you lifting it. No! It's not even in the shot! Ah, oh, Come on, man! I want a new victory celebration. No, we gotta do it ourselves. That's it? That is it? I wonder what's gonna happen. Uh... I have unlocked all create a car sponsors. Nice. I have unlocked Coca-Cola. <laughs> we just ran into the Coca-Cola. <laughs> we just did the Coca-Cola paint scheme. Home Depot, McDonald's, NBC, Richard Petty, uh, Fantasy Driver Kit Paint. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. 1.59 million in the bank going to year 2026 or 2026. Dear, dear Lord. 2006. The final standings. Uh, yes, Junior did finish second, so we win the championship by 36 points on the season. We had five poles, and then we didn't qualify. We had 22 wins, 25 top fives, 29 top tens, an average finish of 7.5, an average start of 32.3. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Look, and compare that to Junior, I think his average finish was around 5.9 or something. It was 6. So he had an average finish of 6, average start of 6.3. 31 top 10s, 21 top 5s, only 2 wins on the season. You gotta win more races. I had 22, you only had 2. That too bad for you. Um, that is going to be it. That is it. Uh, is the team gone? Uh, no, they're not gone. Well, I'm just going to... I know you guys won the championship, but uh, I didn't really like any of you. So, yeah. Um, cut, yeah, we're just gonna release all of you. Just release, release, release. Get the hell out of here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. All right. The builders, you guys can stay. You guys did a good job. Don't mind crew chief. Actually, no. You, you didn't. The crew chief, you didn't. You weren't able to get the pit crew, you know, working well. So you're out of here. Uh, engine builder, chassis builder, fabricator. You guys good. I have no issues with you guys. You guys can stay. Um, all right. So we fired the entire pit crew and our crew chief. We've won the championship. And that is it. That is it for NASCAR Thunder 2004, guys. Let me know what you thought of the series in the comments down below. There maybe is one thing I could think of, but, like, I don't really want to do it. It's where you start a new season, but you make all the races, like, 2 or 5%, and you try to win all 36 races, like, quick fire. But I don't really... I haven't really prepared for that. <laughs> like, we don't... The, the garage is not ready. It's it's not. Uh, I, I don't, we haven't done R&D. I don't really want to do that. So this, that, this is going to be it. Thank you guys for the support on this series. We'll have a new series coming up soon on the channel in the near future. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. I am going to uh, enjoy my birthday weekend. My birthday is tomorrow on Saturday. 
So I will go ahead and enjoy that. I'll see you guys on Sunday for another video for the race review from uh, Auto Club, the final race at the current configuration of Auto Club. Um, thank you to this game. This is my favorite NASCAR console game of all time. Um, I've done two series on it now. It really is. I, I, I think it's spectacular. I think it's, it's, it's absolutely a, the fact that I can sit here and play this game for like an hour almost every day and, and, and record and do 25% races and never really get bored of it. It's a fantastic game. That's really, uh, in terms of console gaming, I think it is the crown, the crown jewel of NASCAR console gaming. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow. And for the final time out of NASCAR Thunder 2004, peace out.